Hello, today I'm going to show you the exciting new functionalities of the SP Doc Kit from our 5.2 release. For a long time, our customers wanted to have the ability to connect to SharePoint Online and it's finally here. With SP Doc Kit, you can now easily manage your SharePoint sites, manage permissions, move users in and out of groups, clone permissions, and much more. Let's see how that works. In the Permissions Explorer, you now have the ability to connect to both on-premises and SharePoint online sites. We recommend using Site Collection Admin Account to do so. On the ribbon, click on the Connect button. In the newly opened dialog box, choose SharePoint Online. Enter the site URL. Enter the site name. Enter the credentials used to connect to your SharePoint Online. And click OK. Once connected, SP Doc Kit will show you the contents of the site collection you have chosen. As you can see, this is a fairly simple site collection with just one site and a couple of libraries. On the main screen, you can see all the users and groups that have permissions to the root of this site collection. Let's imagine you are given a task to clean up all users that were given permissions directly and move these users into groups. On the main part of the screen, I'm going to select a couple of users. All these users have full control permissions, and I'm going to drag them to the Team Site Owners group. Choose whether you want to copy or move users to this group. In this case, we're going to choose Move. We're going to repeat this procedure for all the remaining users in this site. If I want to view users that are members of a group, I can select to view all. In the main panel, I can now easily expand each group and see its members. As you can see, the Team Site Visitors group has no members, so I can remove it from the site using the Delete Group button on the ribbon. The Grant Permissions button on the ribbon allows me to add permissions to users for this site. Click on the Grant Permissions button. Using the People Picker option, search for the user to whom you want to give permissions. You can assign permissions by adding a user to a group that already exists on this site, or by assigning permissions directly. As you can see, Zarinka is now a member of the Team Site Visitors group. In many companies, when a new employee is hired, you want to give him or her exactly the same permissions as those of his or her team members. Simply choose a user whose permissions you want to clone. Type in the name of the new user and select it from the drop-down menu. Click Next and verify the changes on the preview step. The system is going to give the new users the same permissions as the original user. Imagine you want to modify permissions for a departmental site. To demonstrate this, we are going to connect to a different site collection. Type in all the details just as before. The new site collection, Contasso, will be displayed in the navigation menu. Expand the Contasso node and then expand the Home node. As you can see, a couple of sites and document libraries are listed under the Home node. The Departments and Employee sites are sites with unique permissions, i.e. they don't have the same permissions as their parent site. The objects with unique permissions have a small red square next to their icon. For the purpose of this demo, let's say you were given a task to create unique permissions on the facility site. To do that, select Facilities in the left-hand navigation panel. Click on the ribbon button, Break Permission Inheritance. Confirm that you want to proceed with the operation. Your site now has unique permissions. The permissions from the parent site were copied. If you want to start with a clean slate, just select all, and then remove all these entries. Now if your site does not have permissions, you are ready to start over. Click on the Create Group button on the ribbon. Type in the name of your group and choose the owner. On the next screen, choose the permission level you want to assign. In this case, we are going to give full control to this group. The new group is now available on your site. Let's add some users by assigning them to this group. Type the names of your users and choose them from the drop-down menu. Choose the group to which you want to add users. 
In this case, we are going to select the Facilities Managers group. Click OK to add users to the group. That's it. Your users have all the permissions they need, and you are ready for some margaritas. To learn more, visit us at www.spdocket.com. If you need help, feel free to contact our support team at support at acceleratio.net.